What's going on, Hack Nation? Are you feeling trapped and exhausted in your business? Do you dread picking up the phone to call yet another consultant only to watch your hard-earned money go down the drain without seeing the growth that you desperately need? I have some game-changing news for you. Today, I'm going to reveal the seven numbers that would decide your business growth in 2023. And guess what? You don't need a consultant to figure them out. These vital numbers are the key to unlocking your entrepreneurial freedom. Trust me, these are the essential metrics that every entrepreneur need to know to break free from the chain of their business and achieve the success that they truly deserve. Number one, product in hand. Getting your product in the hands of potential customer is absolutely crucial to increasing sales and driving business growth. In fact, this is my vital number for the quarter. You see, a lot of times, especially when your product is so amazing, you want to find as many ways as possible to get that product in people's hands. You see it all the time online with software and freemium model, three-day trial, seven-day trial. If your product can stand alone and really do amazing selling by itself, you should really, really consider getting the products that you have into the hands of your potential customer. Many entrepreneurs make the mistakes of underestimating the importance of getting these products in hands, leading to a low conversion rate. They spend so much money on marketing and sales when the product could have done all of that for them. Tell your CFOs to start tracking this as your vital number and see your business grow. Number two, owned audiences. The number of people who engage with your content is a vital number in your business. Now, don't mistake this metric with the audience that you're borrowing from other people's platform. This metric will tell you how well your content is performing and resonating with your audience. So much so that they're willing to give you something. These people are already on your platforms. Engagement can in the form of likes, comments, shares, or clicks. The more people are willing to go on your platform, the more that they're willing to give you their contact information and give you permission to talk to them, the more likely it is for them to convert into customers. To increase engagement and increase old audiences, focus on content that is actually valuable, relevant, and shareable. Keep it to your core. Keep it to the things that you absolutely know what you're talking about and you absolutely love talking about and have the expertise in. Test different formats, styles, and topics to find the winning combination for your audience. Remember, follow with your audience and not your product. Tell your CFO to start tracking this as your viral number and see your business grow. Number three, the number of people People who take action. Do you know what is the most important marketing number for your business? It's the number of people who take action after watching, reading, or learning about your content. Ultimately, you want your audience to take action, like buying from you or subscribing to your offer, or even just give you their email addresses. This number reflects how effectively your marketing efforts are driving the desired outcome. To improve this metric, ensure your call to actions are clear, compelling, and simple. It should be placed strategically throughout your content. Now, I'm not a marketing expert, but if you're working with a marketing expert, you should ask them to help you monitor your conversion rate and experiment with different approaches to find the most effective ways to encourage action. Tell your CFOs to start tracking this as your vital number and see your business grow. Number four, raving fans. The number of raving fans you have will make or break your business. Raving fans are those customers who not only love your product or services so much, but are also eager to recommend it to others. By increasing the number of raving fans, you can improve client retentions and generate new businesses through word of mouth marketing. These are the best kind because if all of you think about it, you will always remember the time where you have already decided on something and researched a bunch of times. And then just on the way to your store, your friend, your best friend come up, called you up and say, hey, you know what? You should buy from this guy or you should buy this brand. How many times did you you switch. Word of mouth marketing is the best. Therefore, you should track and try to increase the number of raving fans that you have for your product, for your brand, and for your company. It's important to know that acquiring a new customer is 20 times costlier than retaining an existing one. Here are three ways you can increase your raving fans. Number one, provide excellent customer service. Respond to queries promptly and exceed customer expectations to make them feel valued. Number two, offer loyalty programs. Reward your customers for their loyalty with exclusive discounts, 
special offers or other perks. Perhaps they should get some special treatment. Not just the new customers get special treatment, but you should reward the people who's been with you the longest and who are the most loyal. Number three, encourage feedbacks and act on it. Customers want to be loved and want to be taken care of by you. They want to know that you're listening to them. Create a feedback loop with your customers to understand their need and concerns. Use their feedback to improve your product or services and show them that their opinion matters. Because at the end of the day, they are the end user. By them using your product or services, it's what actually create the value for your product and services. Don't waste this opportunity where you can have your honest clients, your honest fans give you the best opinion that actually matters. Tell your CFOs to start tracking this as your vital number and see your business grow. Number five, processes. How many tasks in your business are automated? What can be automated should be automated. It will save you time, resources, and get you your freedom back. Implementing automation in areas like email marketing, customer relationship management, invoicing, accounting can streamline your operation and free up your time for more strategic and higher impact tasks. Evaluate your current processes and identify opportunities to introduce automation, make your business more efficient and more scalable. Pay attention to the question, is everybody involved in the process doing the best and first use of their time, skills, and effort? Tell your CFOs to start tracking this as their vital number and see your business grow. Number six, cash position. You don't expect me to talk about vital numbers without talking about cash. You know what they say about revenue is vanity, profit is reality, but cash is king? This statement is always true. Did you know that 82% of small businesses fail due to cash flow problems? Ignore cash flow and your business is due. It can make or break your business. Profitability doesn't even matter. I know so many businesses that are super profitable on their PL that either run into the risk of going out of business or actually went out of business because they couldn't turn it up and they just weren't paying enough attention to cash flow, especially in the economy and the time that we are today. We are going into a recession. There's no doubt about that. Every metrics, every business, every market indicator is pointing us to that. If you're a CEO that is still trying to increase burn and you're still trying to, you know, run, I'm gonna tell you, you're going to run into a fucking wall. This is the time that every CEO should be working closely with their CFOs or financial advisors to keep track of your cash position to ensure that you have enough funds to cover enough expenses, invest in growth smart and strategically, and avoid financial crises. Absolutely know where your burn is every single month. Number seven, time. Most accountants and CFOs don't talk about time. However, this has got to be the number one equalizer to everything in life and in business. There are a lot of numbers and KPIs that entrepreneurs can track to grow faster, but this one metric will make or break their entrepreneurial journey. I have a billionaire friend and I don't have many of them, just a few I can count on one end. And when I talk to him, this is what he says. Time is the single equalizer for every single person. It doesn't matter if you're Jeff Bezos or the king or the royal family somewhere, or if you're just starting out as an entrepreneur, every one of us have 24 hours. This is the most important number that most entrepreneurs ignore, and it's going to cost them dearly. In fact, it's costing them their freedom. Effective time management and focusing on the best and first use of your time are crucial to achieving your business goals and maintaining a healthy work-life balance. Prioritizing tasks based on their impact urgencies and then delegating delegating or outsourcing everything else will help you stay organized and productive and not burn out. This is the one way to help you with sustainable growth over a long period of time. And that's what we're all about at Measure and Hack. It's about being rich and free today and tomorrow. Regularly assess how you are spending your time and eliminate any activities that don't contribute to your business growth or personal well-being. Now, you're saying, Michael, that is fucking crazy. I'm not I'm gonna spend my entire life working and I'm not telling you that. I'm just saying you have to be intentional. If you want to waste time, if you want to be on social media, so be it. But be mindful of that, be aware of that, be intentional. 
Don't just let time manage you. Don't just let time disappear. By mastering your time and your focus, you will be able to work smarter, work harder, and enjoy the freedom and success that you have always desired. Because we want to be accelerating in all fronts of our life, not just the business, but also personally and also in our relationship. One of the things that I personally do is maintaining a time journal. I keep my time every 30 minutes in every single day. Since the beginning of this year, I was a little bit less crazy in the last 10 years, but I tracked my Pomodoro's for the last 10 years. This is where it allows me to keep track and review every other week how I have spent my time. And I'm adamant, I go through it, I highlight it, and I figure out what's working, what's not working, and then how I can improve and better deploy one of my most important resources over the next two weeks. What can I do differently? Paying attention on the tasks that are high impact. Tell your CFO to help you start tracking this as a vital number. Or better yet, download our time journal from measureandhack.co and start tracking your time and see how are you spending it. And I will guarantee you, even if you just do it for three days because I know it's super hard, you'll start finding out things that you never know about you. Tell your CFOs to start tracking this or help you start tracking this as a vital number. And you not only see your business grow, you'll see your life prosper into to just more freedom, more joy, and more happiness. Now, that is a lot, but you don't have to tackle all seven vital numbers at once. In fact, I would argue just start with one and you'll see a massive difference in your business and your life. In fact, I would argue you should only start with one. I am tracking a little bit more than one only because I've been doing this for 14 years. And when I started, I tracked only one vital number. And even now, even though I track multiple of it, it's only because I have the system and the people that helps me do this. But even then, I still focus on just a handful for one to three that I want to work on. So don't be in a hurry. Don't start with all seven. Just pick one that is the most relevant for you that you feel like is going to help you with the biggest impact in your life and your business and start there. Rather it's tracking your customer acquisition cost, rather it's tracking your time, or if it's tracking your cash, or if it's tracking one of your you know own audience or marketing metrics, whatever it is, it will help you improve your business or your life. Taking action on just one of these metrics can have a domino effect on your entire business and your life. To help you get started, we've created a free tool called the Monday Morning Action Plan, where you can identify the things that you're going to do differently when you get back in the office on Monday, starting with tracking one of these as your vital number. So you can take back control of your business and achieve the success that you've always dreamed of. So what are you waiting for? Click on the link in the description to download Download the Monday Morning Action Plan now and start your journey to entrepreneurial freedom. And if you're ready to take your business to the next level, consider joining our community at measurexhack.co. This community is created for entrepreneurs by entrepreneurs to help you get a grip on your numbers, optimize your resources, and take back the freedom that you deserve. Because we believe that entrepreneurs are the solutions to the world's problems, and we want to help you along this journey. Don't let your business control you any longer. Take control of your numbers, manage your time and energy, and start living the life that you have always wanted. Oh, 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 o